Hey, so what is going on everyone? I have another video here to share with all of you in Windows 10 on how to always show file extensions in File Explorer. So for some reason, Microsoft's always hiding file extensions in Windows. So I wanna show you how to show your file extensions so you don't potentially click on something like a virus that's harmful to your computer. And what I mean is if I go over here, say you go to like your downloads folder and you double click on that, you can see there's some files in here, but I really don't know what those files are. I don't know if they're JPEGs, MPEGs, MP4s, whatever, text files. So in order to be to get the file extension on the end here, this is actually hidden. It's actually clicked to be hidden. So what you gotta do is click on over here where it says view, click on that tab, come over here to the right and click on options. I'm just gonna move this box out of the road here so you can see. So once you're in the folder options box here, in the center, click the tab that says view. Then you can come down here under advanced settings a little bit and you'll see where it says like hide empty drives and you can see all this stuff is checkmarked, but we don't want that checkmarked. Here's the one that says hide extensions for known file types, okay? So I don't know if this is a potentially harmful file. So I'm gonna go ahead and untick that and click apply. Now you can see it says .mp4. This one says .txt for text and .jpg for .jpeg. Okay, if I go and uh, click that again and click apply, you can see that disappears. So my suggestion to you guys and a little tip, and basically this is just a tip if you wanna do this or whatever, uncheck mark that, click apply, and you know have it to where it can always show what files you're clicking on and things like that. So basically, you know, there's another way to get in there too, guys. You can always go down to the lower left-hand corner and right-click and open up File Explorer like that. And then you can go to the View tab and of course go to Options and get in folder options from there as well. So there's another way to access it. So I hope this helps some of you guys out. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it. And I'll see you guys next time.